Hello one and all and welcome back to You've Never Played Pokemon Emerald Version with Nuzzle Rules and Randomizer with me, Techno Bambino. You know the drill, this is part number 46. Wow, I'm really getting there. Now I've got up to this part here, I'm in some sort of underground cavern uh, facing against, where are we, Team Aqua is it? I think it's Team Aqua down here. Yeah, I'm just on uh, the, yeah, the seafloor cavern, that's the one. Um, we got dive in the previous episode if you remember. We evolved Haldir the Shelder to... Uh, to Haldir the Cloister, and if you don't remember, he's now a water ice. I think he was a water ice before. Was he just water? I can't remember. Um, yes. Yeah, so, oh, actually, I'll show you their stats. That's something I wanted to do in the previous episode that I completely forgot. So, um, not a particularly high attack. Defense is really high, and um, pretty good special attack. Not too bad. It kind of needs special attack, I would have thought, anyway. Um, Mr. Frodo has these particular ones, so yeah, it's just attack that's quite high. Nothing too too great about him. And then you have my main defense tank, which is Gandalf, uh, the Agron, who's just his defense is just catastrophically high. Um, you also got Gollum Sableye, who has a high attack, but not particularly high special attack, which is kind of weird. Um, and then you get Theoden, who has an attack of 154. So I can't wait to teach him some sort of fighting type move. It's going to be absolutely epic. Um, I can't wait for that. And we've also got um, uh, Cave Troll, who's the Blastoise, who's gonna, who was my Surf, sorry, no, Dive, Rock Smash, and Strength Slave. I mean, I might even teach you something else if you can. I don't think you can, actually, though. It's probably one of the only things I could teach him. But there you go. So, there their moves at the moment. Let's get out of this bad boy. And, oh, who's got, who's got low health? Mr. Frodo's low on health. Oh, I should have healed him in the previous episode. Or at least before this episode started, but, oh, I got a high potion will do. Why not? Shove that on there. Ah, there we go. So how they now lows no spikes as well because they leveled him up to level thirty nine. Oh god, what is this shit? Oh god, right. Let's plan this. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Clearly, got to put them there. Um. Right. I need to put. Oh god. Okay. Um. How do I get up to there? Then? Right, I think I know what I've got to do. Let's do... I can always redo it, can't I? Okay, I think what I've got to do is this. That. 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 Yes! Oh, God. C4 Cavern. Look at this. Oh, what's this? Earthquake! Oh, I learned Earthquake! Oh, God, that's what I wanted to teach Agron, wasn't it? I could teach you the Theoden, actually. I'm still going to keep it, though, just for the time being. Just because that's such an epic move. What is down here? What is this way? What is this? <gasps> oh, God. Oh, shit, it's Archie. Oh, no. I wonder how powerful this Pokemon is going to be, actually. As long as it doesn't know bloody Earthquake. Unless that was a hint with the TM. I hope not, anyway. <gasps> I suppose we'll soon see. Yeah, here we go. Archie would like to battle. Sent out his Martina. Level 41! Ooh, well dear, get out of there. Although, saying that, I could probably throw in a set of spikes. No. Pokemon. Oh, I'm really nervous about this. Let's send out Third and King, just because he's ridiculously strong. Actually, that's probably why Facade does so much damage, just because his attack's so bloody high. That kind of makes sense, actually. So, Facade. Yeah. Might not kill him in one, but if it... Oh, it didn't. That's the first time it's ever not killed him in one. But to be fair, it's a level 41, and it's a what, 70 attack power move, I think. A 70 power move. Um, Not really too sure. Well, it's going to slack off, so I can choose anything, I guess. Oh, he chose Super Potion. Of course. I don't think I'll fully heal him, though. No, it didn't. Uh, Thedor's loafing around, which is cool. Um, let's do it again! Do it again! Play it again! It's somebody out there who will absolutely love that quote. Well, at least I hope he laughs at it anyway, which is, um, it's a quote from a, uh, what is it? A Ricky Gervais, uh, Carl Pilkington and Steve Merchant clip from one of their ex -firm radio shows. It's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. It's, it's so funny. Um, I, I can't even I can't even explain it. I don't even know why I started explaining that. Never mind. Crowbat. I'm gonna switch him in and switch him back out again. 
Why not? Uh, to be fair, th oh, actually, Mr. Frodo will be pretty good here, considering it's a rock ground type. Can't wait to see if it's a Tyranitar. It's going to be a dark type. It's going to be epic. Oh, shit, Confuse Ray. Oh, I hate Confuse Ray. But at least I have Rock Slide. Rock Slide, is it? Yeah, Rock Slide in order to get rid of some Crobat. I miss Crobat. I miss my Fell Beast. He was really good. That shouldn't do a lot, no. That's good. Oh, please don't. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Take him away. Super effective. Of course it is. Oh, I need a super potion as well. Hopefully. Oh, see what? I think another rock smash might do it, though. Oh, he's not going confusion as well. Oh, look at that. Mr. Frodo crawling it back. Oh, you hero. Look at that. And I think I might level him, actually. It might do. Oh, it will. Absolutely. Level 40. Come, Mr. Frodo. Learn a new move. Sharpedo, yes. Um, well, just like just like before, I'm going to switch in Haldir and then switch it back out again. Now, Sharpedo's a dark water type. Or is it just a dark type? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's a dark water type. Sharpedo's pretty damn cool. Um, so, that's level 43, so it's a dark water type. Oh, this is where I wish I'd missed the mine. Do it. Do it, Thaden. Take one for the team. Okay, it's got Swagger. Which is, get I mean, you reduce you're making his attack even better. Which is just insane. What are you doing? He already has like 180 bloody... Was it 180 or 150? Attack. Oh, facade, look at that. I might even one shot him, you know. Oh! Oh, that hurts. There we go. That's so, so, so painful. Here we go. Fuh, fuh, fuh. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted, but I have this in my obsession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. The red orb suddenly became shining itself. <gasps> Oh shit. Please don't attack. Please don't attack. I'm pretty sure I can prepare for it. Oh, I flew away. Thank fuck for that. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the rebel? Where did. Where, what, what? Who? Who? When? Which? The? Hmm. It's a message from our member outside. Yes, what is it? It's raining heavily? Good. That should have happened. That's why we awakened Kai. I, I don't never know how to pronounce this. Kyoga? Kai, Kai Rogue? I can never remember how to pronounce it. To realize T Mac was vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than you envisioned. You're in danger. That can't be. That's not true. That's impossible. There is something wrong. The Red Orb is supposed to awaken and control Koga. But why? Why did Koga disappear? Why? Oh, shit. Maxi, what have you done wrong? Archie, you've finally awoken Kyoga, haven't you? What will happen if. What will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. W what? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma? What infuriated ground arm. So long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside to see for yourself. See what you've... Oh, hello. See if what you've wrought is the... <laughs> Techno B, come on. You have to get out of here too. Oh, crikey. What happened? What's this registry? Did I make a horrible mistake? I, I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? You finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be. We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation gets completely out of control. <gasps> Techno B, don't say anything. He doesn't anyway. He's a silent character. I know that I have a right to be critical of Archie, but the way things are, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls on Archie and me. Of course it does. This is disbelief. Those super ancient Pokemon, their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. Oh, crap. And on that note... Oh, hello. Steven, Techno B, what's happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat, we've ended this... Deluge. If this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn, no, the whole world will drown. <laughs> this huge rain cloud is spreading above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no there's no point arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. Techno B, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Bring. See you later. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of shit. 
I kind of want to go back in there though to get go in the rest of those rooms. I really should have carried on, but um, yeah, never mind. Right, uh, Sutopolis then, guys. I'm guessing. Um, I don't have a um, fly slave anymore, so I can't exactly. Um, actually, let's have a look. See what's see what's down there. Oh, technically, how did you do this? Is the leader speaking? Blah 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 blah. Yes, I'd like to use dive. Thank you. Is it down in the same? Oh, hello. What's this? A protein. Nice. So it was nowhere near what I what I was looking for. Yeah, I'd like to use dive. Thank you. Right, let's go to Cetopolis then, I guess. Is there any place I've got to go? I'm on route 128. I don't think I've been on 129 yet. Should I quickly go and catch a Pokemon? Should I catch one real quick? Should I do it? Before we go to Cetopolis? I think we should. I think that'd be pretty good. Let's sniff and get one. Actually, have I... Oh. Wait, this isn't 129, is it? Oh, it's a victory bell. I don't think I'm 129 yet. Um, oh, God. It's a grass type, so that's not particularly great against what I've got. Um, so let's just run. Why not? I don't think I'm in Route 129 yet. 129, this is 129. Okay, here we go. Right, this is the Pokemon I can catch. And... Oh, nice. It's a Smeargle. I am going to catch that. I'm probably not going to use it, but I've never used one before, so that's going to be... Oh, that's, that's really strange, actually. I never thought about... Hmm. Interesting. I think Surf will absolutely annihilate him, though. Actually, I've got Cave Troll, haven't I? And Cave Troll knows not so many great moves. So what I could do is actually use Cave Troll in this episode. And if he dies, he dies. It doesn't really matter. You sketch. Oh, of course. That's He's a, like a painter, isn't he? He paints with his tail or something. Of course he paints with his tail, Techno, because he's got a tail with paint on it, you fucking dick. <sighs> Such an idiot. Struggle. Yeah. Hit of recall. Just use strength. I want. I just want to get that just because I've never really used it before. That's a perfectly good excuse in a Nuzlocke to catch a Pokemon. I have no idea what I'll call it, though. I'm sort of run, kind of running out of names. There's a couple more names I can use. That's good. That's good. Um... Who else is there? Come on, Smiggle! Yeah, it's a female as well. There's very little, very little. Oh, what the hell? Struggle? Why? Why are you using struggle? Oh shit! It's gonna kill itself, isn't it? Why are you killing yourself, Smiggle? In fact, I should have really called Gollum Smiggle. I, I, I can call him Smiggle. There you go. That's perfect. That's. Gollum's alter ego. That actually makes sense, and it sounds like Smeagol. Smeagol. Yeah? Does anyone else agree with that? I think that's a pretty good name, actually. I am not really impressed with myself, but I'm quite proud of that. Come on, another Ultra Ball. I'll just, it's a flicking Ultra Ball as well. Come on, you should be able to catch this. Catch this shit. Come on. Come on. No, oh, come on. Heh. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, that was a critical hit. Wow. Right, if this doesn't, I think he might kill himself in the next turn. So, let's make sure it counts. Go on, catch it. That actually makes sense, calling him Smeagol. That, I can't, because I would call Smeagol and Gollum in the Lord of the Rings films completely separate characters. Although they are played by the same person, they're technically two different personalities. So, a Smeagol marks its territory using its fluid that leaks out of the tip of its tail. Sure, his tail. About 5,000 different marks left by this Pokemon have been found. Okay. Smeagol knows. Did I do all lowercase? I did, didn't I? Never remember. It's a female, but I don't really care. Smeagol. Smeagol. There you go. Smeagol was transferred to Lynette's busy. Not in box one. No, but actually box one is where I do want it. Okay, so I finally caught a Pokemon on that route. So I'm 129. I could do 130 as well, but I really want to go to Sutopolis instead. So, let's head there, which is north of here. If I get attacked quite a bit, I'm just going to stick on another repel as per usual, just because it gets boring otherwise. Ah, uh, there's a victory bell. really don't want to face it, just because it's a water ice type, which is never good. And to be fair, it doesn't really need, well, it does need levelling up, but um, not to the extent of um, getting any new moves or anything like that. Let's keep going. Okay, so... Whereabouts are we? We are. It's where I get completely lost. 
Okay, so how do I get in? I'm, I suppose I've got to go under here or something. I've already been down here. I swear I've already been down here. Yeah, I've already been here. Cool. That was a pointless action. Brilliant. Right, let's head this way instead. One, two, eight. Oh, and I got attacked again. Brilliant. Oh, another victory bell. Me, 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 me. Now, actually, because in this is victory bell, I've actually got a really, really cool idea for a Pokemon Let's Play series, which I'm thinking about doing after this, but maybe not straight away. Um, and it involves not necessarily Victory Bell, but something to do with Victory Bell. If you can think of anything to do with Victory Bell in which you could rev um, in which you could uh, make a series, like a Pokemon Let's Play, I wonder if you can think about what it is. Um, Victory Bell will be one of my Pokemon, and there'll be a reason for it. And I think it'll be a really, really interesting, um, really, really interesting one. Really, really interesting um, Let's Play. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed! Techno. Okay. That led to absolutely nothing. Well, apart from the star piece, which is... I suppose that's alright. I've got the heart scale on the previous one, which should come in handy later on if I if I need it. Route 127. Am I still... Oh, for God's sake. Enough battles. It's a fucking Spearow. I've already caught Pokemon in this route, though, so... Or at least... I think it was an Electabuzz, wasn't it, on this route? And I messed it up. That was clearly supposed to be some sort of tentacle or something like that. Uh, it's not worth my time. I wonder if I can challenge this trainer here. No, I've already challenged this person. Okay, by well, looks of things then, I can go here. Because remember last time I went all the way round? And I got absolutely nowhere. So, oh hello. Underwater. Now this looks like it could be a Pokemon route. Is there stuff I can find in these? I wonder if there's a... Hmm. Oh, oh it is. I'm going to class this as a new route. So what is it? It's a... <laughs> Do you want to give me any more first gen starters or evolution of stars? Do you want to game? Do you want to give me any more? I will. I could. It, uh, it's just mental. That's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. Okay. I, I don't get it. Why? So now I'll have. What? What is it? Uh, Charmeleon, Blastoise, Bulbasaur. What else have I got? Croconaw. I've at least I could at least get all of the Pokemon starters, all the starters from first gen. But it is Bulbasaur. He's fucking cool. So oh, he died. Oh, what a shame. Oh, boo, fucking who? Don't give a shit. Uh, never mind. Uh, let's get a poison up. Uh, Defrost heals poisoning. We've got seventeen of these. I did it again, press ta check tag instead of use, and it automatically jumps to Golem. Of course it does, which is what's great about this game. So now I can no longer get any in that route. Oh, I see, that's a, hang on, what's that? A big pearl, ooh, that's big. Let's keep going through them. Come on. Doop, 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 doop. I'm guessing that's the entrance. I wonder if there's anything else around here. I might as well have a look. Might as well challenge what I can. Yeah, so Victory Bell will be linked in. I might not, I may actually not even use Victory Bell. Uh, no, no, I don't. Um, I may not even use Victory Bell in that run, but it's still related to it. You can probably guess what it is from me saying that. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun and quite challenging considering the Pokemon I've got to use. Uh, yeah, especially... I'd, and also, I'll probably do... Oh, there's a couple of games that it could possibly relate to. It might be... Oh, I'm not going to say. I'm going to keep it a secret. This place is massive underneath it. Look at all this shit. Is there anything else here? There's so much. Is there anything this way? No. Let's keep heading this way then. Oh, oh there you go. What's this? An Ultra Ball. Brilliant. I haven't got enough of them already, have I? Come on. I kind of want, kind of want to see what else is in here, you know. Doop, 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 doop. What's this way? Oh, another dark spot. Normally means nice, nice, nice. I'm going to see where this comes up to, actually. It's always good to do it at random bits. You never know, you might appear like somewhere cool and random. Route 126, so whereabouts are we? Uh, I'm all the way up there, brilliant. Let's go back down, shall we? Yeah, yeah, that'll be good, that'll be good, yeah. Let's go to Sutopolis. I'm definitely going to get challenged now. Oh, wow, really? 
Am I going back? Yeah, I've, I'm back to where I was. By the looks of things. So I'm going to go around. There's a couple of bits I missed. So I'm going to go around again. Oh, this takes forever. I wish I had my running boots. It's like starting the game again. Oh, I can't believe how far I've got in this game, though. I've already passed, passed the seventh gym. And I've lost six Pokemon. I think that's pretty good, personally, considering I'm really not particularly great at this game, as you can see from the Let's Play. But I'm I'm just really not, not impressed with myself. But I'm just so glad that I've only lost six, only because I've had to only make six videos. <laughs> That'll be what. Oh, that looks like it's something different. Oh, I see. I can't get up from there. Oh, hello. What's this? Another heart scale. Fantastic. Come in handy. Actually, considering I couldn't jump up there, what is up here? Maybe there's something unique up here I can get to. No. Uh, okay, let's jump down this one then. I would like to use dive. Yes, thank you very much. Got loads of stuff here. Yellow shard. Oh, yellow shard. Oh, these are to get stones, aren't they? A pearl. Fantastic. Um, an iron, cool. A whole iron. Do, do, do some, do some, do some washing. Yeah, great. Gosh, I'm gonna see what's down here. I wonder if it's something different. Let's have a look. And it's a Venusaur, or an Ivysaur, or a it's a fucking Hitmonlee. That is amazing. Although I've already used some on this route, which is an absolute pain in the ass. But I fucking love Hitmonlee. Like. Oh. I've actually started Fire Red again. Well, I started Fire Red again. I actually bought Fire Red because I'd never owned the GBA versions of the first gen games. Um, so I bought Fire Red off eBay and I chose Hitmonlee as one of my. Uh, you know the ones where you can choose either Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. And that's what I chose. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, um, ugh, I can't catch him though because I've already caught one in this route. Which is an absolute pain. But he probably knows High Jump Kick or something ridiculous, which is always really powerful. So I'm tempted to just save Haldir because I really need my Surf Slave. And no fighting skill against normal, isn't it? Balls! Golem it is then. Golem it is. Okay, Hitmon. Focus Energy. That's got a fucking love Hitmon. Just look at that. That is one of the coolest Pokemon ever. Shadow Ball, though, should kick his ass. And he might level up for this, actually, as well. Which should be pretty good. Ah, oh, that's really annoying. So what I'm actually going to do is... Over time, I'm going to get that, and then um, Leaf Green, and then all the rest of them, and eventually gain every Pokemon ever, if I can possibly do it. I probably can't, but it'll still be really fun. Oh, and there's a trainer. Hey, kiddo, want to battle with me? Well, guess I ain't got a choice, have I? <sighs> hey, mister, do you want to battle? And he's got a Goldie, level 34, Bag of Dicks. Here comes Aldir, even bigger Bag of Dicks. Let's... Let's, uh, hmm, let's, um, 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 Ice Beam you. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Bloody Cloister. I'm kind of glad I got a Cloister, though, in a, in, a, in a weird way. It's just, I've, well, again, all these Pokemon that I've got in my team, by the way, as I've mentioned before, I've completely never used before. Um, I'm kind of trying new things, which is what you need to do. This is exactly why people do Nuzlocke runs, to try out new Pokemon, to, um, really challenge themselves... Uh, create an emotional bond on that fucking shit. Um, oh, it's almost level 34. I can't remember what that other move is as well. There's one extra move you can learn, and it's at like level level 40 something, I think. It's something like with. It's not withdraw, but it's something very similar. Uh, no, I press one button. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go back to that. Um, Back to that little cave bit. Let's go to Sutopolis. Or Sutopolis, Sutopolis. Sooty Topolis. Sooty's Topless. Brilliant. Doop, 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 doop. And let's jump in here. This is where I find out I've got some sort of ridiculous battle. I hope not, anyway. If I do, I'm fucked. Oh. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh wow, look at this! I wasn't expecting this.
Blame. Well, whereabouts am I now then? Now I'm in Citopolis, supposedly. Are they still there? I'm not, I'm not going anywhere near them. There's an ancient legend that claims that the land sea was shaped by a colossal battle between Pokemon. Well, I'm seeing that happen with my very own eyes. Your four eyes, by the looks of things. Well, I never expected to see something huge. Hello! A big Pokemon is fighting another big Pokemon. Please make them stop. Oh, I don't want to have to. Oh! Oh, do you know the names of the fighting over there? Yes, I do. It's ground on a Koga. I'd like to surf, please. Steven, those Pokemon fighting ground on a Kyogre. The two super ancient Pokemon awaken from a long sleep. And now they are smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Techno B. You being here now, I'll, t I'll take to mean that you... That, is that a sentence? You being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to... Oh, there we go. Become involved in this crisis. Well then, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Hello. Come on, let's do this. This is a really good story. I do like this. I can see why people choose um, Emerald for this reason. Listen to NMB. Seeing Grand Long Kyoga make you, th make, make you think Pokemon are to be feared? Well, that's not true. Pokemon are really more... Why am I asking this? You already know. What is going on? I'm so lost. Where are you taking me? Hello? What's this bit here? Okay. We're going in? Okay, here we are. Inside you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. Is it what's in my pants? Cave of Origin? Oh, crikey. This is so scary. Am I going to get attacked in here? We'll see if I find out, I guess. What the heck is going on? Can I pick any of these up? Oh, hello, who's this? Ah, so you're Techno B. I've heard of tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader at Citopolis. So now I entrusted your mentor, Juan, in Jim's operation. Ground on a Koga, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It's said that it was Rayquaza that be becalmed the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. Oh. Ding! Techno B, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you please do, please tell me. I believe he's in Sky Pillar, isn't he? The Sky Pillar? That's it! He must be in the Sky Pillar. Let's go to the Sky Pillar. Uh, okay, are we going to the Sky Pillar? Yeah, okay. That was completely pointless. Oh, I can get attacked. This is a new area as well. It's a Steelix! Steelix will be cool, but I already have Agron. So this is kind of pointless. And also Steel's really good against Ice, so this is a really, really bad idea. But it's a Steel type. So, oh, Steel's weak to not that much, really. What, Fighting, Ground. Um, steel's good against what, Ice and Rock. So Gandalf's not going to be very good. But Theoden knows Counter... Uh, Gollum, Gollum, oh god, just run. Fuck it. <laughs> Rather not bother. Okay, let's jump out here then. Anyone else, anyone else, anyone else? Can't be bothered. There's no point, it's too late in the game now. Unless it was a flying type. The Sky Pillar. Never been there, I wonder what it could be. A person with a strong will and superior talent. A trainer has knowledge and experience of many kinds of Pokemon. If such a person were to appear, it would be structured for Wallace to lead the trainer to the cave. Okay. Why not? Um, okay, I'd like to heal my Pokemon, if that's possible. Where's a where's a Pokemon Center around here? Anywhere? Anyone? Pokemon Center? No? Where's the Pokemon? Is Pokemon Center this way? Nope. I want to heal my Pokemon. I'm guessing it's over this way. Oh, God. Uh, okay, maybe it's this side. The mystical city where history slumbers. Ah, back off center. Oh. Oh. Brilliant. Ah, I'd like to rest on Pokemon, thank you. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're here as well. I could probably take out Mr. Mime. 
Um, I might, oh, I might need to use, might need to use dive at some point. Um, but I'm always switching back out, can't I? So that is my team at the minute, and I'm absolutely loving it. That is a really cool team. Let's have a look. Oh, that is awesome. As soon as that revolves as a Tyranitar. Just, that, that's quite cool. I like that. I know it sounds, looks a bit weird sometimes, but that that's a pretty good balanced team. Especially considering Gladriel knows um, level 43 as well. Because his special attack is pretty high. Special defense is insane. Because um, it knows Side Beam at the minute. I'll, it'll hopefully learn Psychic at some point. Or at least I'll, I'll teach it Psychic. Um, light Screen as well, which is pretty good. Lower special attack damage. And Thunderbolt, which is just insane. Um, always a good move. Yeah, but there we go. So that's been another half hour episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. Again, like the previous ones, I'll probably keep probably keep going on. Um, yep, I know they did. They seem to be smashing. I'll tell you what I'll do. Before I go, I'm going to quickly... Come on. Yep, yep. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm going to quickly um, go see what's in those houses. I'm guessing I've got something to do with the Team Magma as well. And Aqua. Actually, let's jump into Pokemon as well. Perhaps I can get some shears. Um, buying a oh, hyper potion. How many do I need? Yes, I need some hyper potions. I don't, oh, I don't have that much money. I, I spent quite a bit of money on um, uh, at the game center, didn't I? Revives absolutely pointless. Okay, I can also sell a load of shit. So let's do this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All right, start at the beginning. Antidote, escape rope, waking ice heal, blue flute. I'll need uh, max repel. Uh, Paralyze Heal, Max Potion, Zinc, Revival, Herb. Uh, that would be quite handy. No, it won't. Of course it won't. So if I can Nuzlocke run. <laughs> Idiot. Um, Big Pearl. I'll get th rid of three of those. Fantastic. Shell Shell. Um, we'll keep those. And Sunstone. Heart Scale I do need. Uh, protein, Star Piece. Get rid of the Star Piece. That's fine. Same, as, same with um, Stardust. Yellow Shard is to... Um, that's to get Thunderstone, I believe. So I've got a little bit more money. That's good. Um, I don't need anything more anyway. Is any, these, what's happening? I really want to know. I want to go outside. Maybe if you get your fat ass out there, maybe you find out. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to these other quick. These other buildings real quick. Just see what's in them. Oh, they're locked. Brilliant. That's gonna be a bit of an anticlimax. Bet the other one is as well. Just to just to annoy me. Where is it? Yeah, doors closed. Brilliant. Well, they're all going to be closed, aren't they? Yeah, of course it is. Right, okay, cool. Um, this is a good length of an episode. Next episode, we're going to find out what the hell we need to do. I mean, obviously, I've got to go speak to those guys. I've got to interrupt um, Kyger and um, ground under the thorn. Go to Sky Pillar later on to get Rayquaza. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually do that in this particular game. Um, but, well, say in the comments whether you'd like me to. Because the main thing is actually just getting to the league and finishing off the league. Um, especially in the Nuzlocke run. But after that, I might spend, I don't know, 10 episodes just getting all the rest of the legendaries. And getting all the rest of the stuff I need to get. Um, so I might, might, might have that as a kind of... I don't know, kind of a appendix almost to the to the series, um, but yeah, cool. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, it's been another thirty-five minute, fantastic. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I shall speak to you later. Toodles.